welcome to Healing Through Hair Loss, the podcast where we talk about the roller coaster ride of hair loss and our healing journey. If you or someone you love is dealing with hair loss, please subscribe to this podcast. The goal of this podcast is to be a voice of support to people dealing with hair loss due to alopecia. Hey there, this is Cindy with Healing Through Hair Loss Podcast. Today, I am recording a live episode from Facebook where I'm going to um, talk about adapting to going out in public. This is something that I see a lot of people share questions about in a lot of the alopecia support groups that I'm in. Um, And there's a lot of people that just aren't quite ready to go out in public ball. They're not quite ready to tell everyone that they're bald. And so in today's episode, I'm going to share some of the ways that I kind of dipped my toe in the water going out in public ball, because it's it's not always easy. You're, you're going to get looks. You're going to get looks of concern and shock and you know, it's just one of those things that you just kind of have to to learn to adapt to. And that's part of why I did a previous episode that I just published yesterday about having an alopecia elevator story. Just basically like a really short, like two second explanation about why you are bald. Because there will be people that ask you you know, what kind of cancer you've had and things like that. And so it's it's really handy to have just a quick explanation about what alopecia is. So here are um, my tips for um, adapting to going out in public bald. One of the ways that I started out going out in public bald was just by going on walks around my neighborhood. I know it's not super public, but I did encounter neighbors and people that hadn't seen me bald or knew what I was going through. And it was kind of an easy way for me to address them and let them know what was going on and let them know, yes, I'm bald. Yes, I have alopecia. No, it's not cancer. Everything's fine. You're going to be seeing me in wigs or you may see me bald. You may see me with a different hair cell every time you see me. It was just a way for me to kind of dip my toes in the water on having those conversations because it can't be awkward and it can't be weird. And so that was, I feel like starting small with like your immediate community is sort of an easy way to adapt. Another thing that I just thought of yesterday was someone posted in one of the alopecia support groups asking about how people go to the gym. And I actually did another live about this last week about going to the bald gym, like going to the gym bald. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I just realized yesterday is that Going to the gym might be one of the first places that might be easy to go out in public. And the reason why I say this is because when people are at the gym, they tend to be in their own little worlds, right? Like they're in the zone, they're doing their workout, and they're wrapped up in their own thoughts and insecurities. And so, really, people are more concerned with themselves than they are anybody else when they're at the gym. And so, in a way, I feel like you're less likely to get looks at the gym. I mean, you will get looks. It'll happen. I get looks when I'm at the gym, even with the baseball cap on. It it happens. But it's, it's not as scary for me when I'm at the gym. It's not as intimidating. And another thing about going to the gym ball is that when you go to the gym, especially if it's like in a group workout setting like CrossFit or, you know, some sort of dance fitness or yoga class or something like that, when you're in a group fitness sort of situation, people tend to be really, really supportive 
of each other. And so to me, I feel like that is a good place to dip your toe into going out in public ball because you're going to be around a bunch of really supportive people who are going to be lifting you up and encouraging you. And so that's, that's another thing that I just thought of yesterday is going to the gym ball might be a good first step in going out in public. The other thing that I would encourage you to do if you're thinking about coming out of the bald closet, I would encourage you to go ahead and start sharing about your journey on social media if you feel comfortable. For me, that was my very first step in coming out about this. When I shaved my head that evening after I had like had a minute to double fake, be like, oh crap, I actually did it. I'm actually bald. After I had a minute to really reflect on it and come to terms with what I had just done, I went live from my personal Facebook page. And I had a very emotional opening about it. I came clean about what I had been going through the past few months. And I just let everybody know, look, I had been losing my hair. I had lost most of my hair. And so I decided to shave my head. And I feel like going live on Facebook shortly after I shaved my head was a good way for me to come out about it. And just be open, honest, and vulnerable. And to just let the world know that you you might be seeing me bald and I'm okay. I'm okay. This is this is okay. <laughs> so yeah, that that is one thing that I would encourage people to do is just if you're thinking about taking the dive and then, you know, going out in public bald, go ahead and be open with your friends about it. Go go ahead and open up to them because you're you're gonna be supported. I promise. You're gonna be supported. Those those are my three big tips for you going out in public bald. Just to recap, I encourage you to go to the gym bald because that's a good supportive first place to go out in public bald. Start small by going out in your neighborhood and your immediate community. And go ahead and uh, come public with it on your social media um, platforms. That way, it's less of a shock to people when they see you out. I mean, you, you're still going to encounter people that aren't on social media who may not be following what you're going through, who are kind of shocked and taken aback when they see you. But I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I, I would try not to, to stress about it too much because... Really, you're going to feel so much more love and support and encouragement and then you realize. I'll tell you a, a story about one of the, the first times I went out in public bald. It was when I went to the beach. We went to the beach like two or three months after I shaved my head. And one morning we decided to go for a walk on the beach and I decided to not wear a hat and just throw some sunscreen on and, and go out there. And it was my, the very first time I've like, just took the plunge and did it, you know, because I, I didn't know anybody around me. I figured it's just a bunch of strangers. What's the worst that could happen? And it was actually a, a really beautiful thing because I just went out there, went for a walk and for the most part, nobody stared, nobody asked any questions, you know, it, the only thing is a couple of kids stared. And that's okay. Kids are going to stare. Kids are curious. You don't look like them. They're going to be curious. But there there was an, uh, a moment where I passed a woman on the beach, and she just stopped, and she just looked at me, and she said, you're so beautiful. That's so cute. And we just went on our way. And it wasn't one of those moments where I felt like it was a, uh, sympathetic like she's telling me you know giving this compliment because she felt sorry for me I, I feel like she just stopped saw I was embracing whatever I was going through whether it was alopecia cancer she didn't know what I was going through she just felt the need to stop and tell me just give me some words of encouragement 
And I think sometimes that's all people need is just a little encouragement. They they don't need an explanation about what you're going through necessarily. They just want to give you encouragement. And I I encourage you to take that encouragement with love because it really is coming from a place of love. So don't take it as like, a, oh, they feel sorry for me sort of thing. Just Just take it for what it is. It's a genuine compliment. And I just encourage you to to really embrace any compliments or encouragement that you get because it it, it will happen. It will. So I will leave you all with that. I, I really encourage you to just just explore the possibility of of going out bald and coming out about alopecia because the the more people talk about it and the more people bring awareness to it the easier it gets for for everyone. So I hope this has been helpful and I just wish you all all the best in your journey. Thanks for listening to the Healing Through Hair Loss podcast. Be sure to visit healingthroughhairlosspodcast.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and sign up for our newsletter to get access to fantastic bonus content.